just so everybody is on the same page here, talk about some of the rugs. You mentioned a little bit of it earlier. You've got border rugs. You've got a variety of different kinds of rugs. Just talk about some of those. Well, for Kuristan, for instance, we cap runners. You know, if they want a runner in the exact size, you, you know, splice and seam the ends, you know, to fit that size. But uh, there's just, there's border rugs where you add, you know, borders are made to go on that rug mm -hmm. uh, by the, the manufacturer and you, you, you know, you size your rug and put the border on it. There's, uh, we do tons of sisal and seagrass and uh, We've become very close to design materials out in Kansas City, the Fields family, Rick Fields. I don't know if you know Rick. But, um, and then uh, Fiberworks out of Louisville, Kentucky, and they're a huge importers of, of stuff. A lot of it's made in China, a lot of it's made overseas, mm -hmm. all of it's made overseas. But, you know, we've got these wide canvas binding machines that take a three inch piece of canvas, cotton canvas, and they, you know, put an inch and a half on the top and the inch and a half on the bottom, but there's just some beautiful, you know, sisal and seagrass rugs that we make. Uh, and it's a lot different from the old, you know, carpet that your mom and dad put in their yeah, house. Yeah. You know? And and pattern rugs made from some of this higher end, beautiful looking patterned, uh, you know, patterned carpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's much easier to go pick out material and say, I want this size rug than it is to go to rack after rack after rack of yeah you know yeah. pre-made rugs that you know your chances are one in ten thousand of finding what you want exactly in exactly the right size and there's something it's a real advantage to that that's my rug i had that made mm -hmm. i mean that's bragging rights about your your rug i We've think is a big started, motivator uh, doing labels that said you know this rug make custom made for so and so and by this artist so-and-so at Myers Carpet, you know. Very nice, very nice. Now, you, you make a lot of rugs. Finding people who can fabricate these rugs, I'm not, I don't expect that's an easy, I mean, everybody doesn't have a knack for doing that, I don't suppose. Yeah, we've got, I was gonna give you a tour later after the interview, but we, you know, we've got people that have been doing it for uh, decades now, so they, you know, they know how to seam, they know how to carve a rug, they know how to, you know, do, uh, repair the equipment. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's just, the, a lot of it's self-taught for years of uh, trying. Well, it's an art form, and I guess bringing somebody in, I guess you almost have to apprentice for a couple of years to even be able to yeah. do it, I suppose. And we have, you know, someone here that is so talented, if we have any kind of problem in Nashville or any kind of problem in Atlanta, he can, you know, Goes there in the car in an hour or two hours that way, and, and he can uh, help people catch up. You know, quite often we get behind. You know, we can't turn the rugs over as quickly as we would like, and so. Now, marketing rugs to others. How, how do you do that? Uh, I mean, other companies, and I mean, there's a. It would seem to me, just the business you do in the three cities you're involved in. You know, there's that kind of business everywhere, I suppose. But we, we don't do a ton of advertising, but the advertising we do is high end. Atlanta Homes and Lifestyles, and uh, we can do ads and say Architectural Digest, but, you, you know, an ad may be fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for a page in Architectural Digest, but companies like Stanton and Nurasan and they do a joint ad where they, you know, have several retailers involved okay. on it, and they do, you know, a Stanton ad, but then they do our, our national stores listed as being a dealer, our Atlanta store and our Dalton store. I see. Now, this is a labor-intensive business, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it takes people with good hand skills, you know, they've got to, to make mitered corners on rugs, and they, you know, it's 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 a uh, and perfectionist uh, not only the hand skills but yeah but mechanic skills they have to know yeah, the equipment yeah. and, uh, and repair it if it breaks now um uh ceramic uh, hardwood lvt hard surface mm -hmm. is a real big item mm -hmm. at this point in time and i suppose most people that put in hard surface, they're probably gonna put a rug over it, most most likely, yeah. aren't they? 
To be a carpet retailer or a floor covering store, you almost have to be in all these different areas. You've got to do hard surface, you've got to do wood, you've got to do laminate, you've got to do uh, tile is the only thing that we've never really gotten into, but uh, uh, luxury vinyl is, is really coming on, uh, coming on strong. So, And I, I remember a survey that I saw some time ago that said within six months, somebody that buys hard surface is pretty likely to buy a rug, rug to and I cover. guess that yeah. you can attest to that, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, I do. Uh, I've said that many times. You know, anybody who puts hardwood floors in their new home almost always end up with some kind of custom area rug or some uh -huh. kind of area rug on top of it. Now, your your, your hard surface, uh, I, I suspect you sell hard surface a good goodly amount of it in in all three stores. Yeah, we do, and we you know ten years ago we didn't hadn't sold an inch, but we really. I mean, you know, we've just adapted with the times, and we've you know hired people who have a, a background in hard surface, and then uh, in my with our niche, it, it, we hard surface you know isn't taking over like it might with some other people, but uh, but anyway, it's you got to do everything these days. As yeah, a retailer. Well, and I guess you see growth in hard surface. Are you going to get more involved in that? Do you think going forward? Yeah, we've you know landed some fairly large jobs. Uh, uh, Something else I told you about yesterday when I was on the phone with you is that we're very proud that we just got through working on Augusta National, yeah. uh, where the Masters is played. And, uh, and it turns out that the decorator I met when I was 18 years old at the University of Georgia, and she had married one of my fraternity brothers, and it just took 40 years to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, I don't think we did the clubhouse as such, but we did the bachelor's cabin and the uh, uh, Eisenhower cabin, and, and we made a several custom area rugs for common areas at, at Augusta National. Very interesting, very interesting. As you mentioned, you sell all categories at all stores. Right, right. We, you know, Dalton, we sell a little bit lower end stuff more often than we do in Atlanta or, or, or Nashville. Nashville's kind of somewhere in between. Uh, but we, um, you know, the, you know the manufacturing here in town, uh, but we in the, are currently doing a, a lot of apartments and some retirement homes, so something like engineered flooring has come into play with us. Uh, we, uh, you know, it fits that niche that we're looking for for apartments and, uh, and retirement homes. I've got you, I've got you. Um, the Internet. Talk about your, we were talking a little bit about that before I turned the camera on. Talk about your whole approach towards the internet and digital marketing. Well, if you add the Nashville, Atlanta, and Dalton stores, we are the largest uh, wool carpet retailer in the Southeast United States. And if I'm not mistaken, we're one of the top 10 in the, in the country. I meant in the Southeast, we're the largest wool retailer. So, our website tries to be higher end. You know, we we have a lot more pattern wools and sisals and seagrasses and, and higher end products on our website than you would probably normally see. Uh huh. Do you market fabricated rugs on the internet? Yeah, or? I mean, we, you know, of course, try to tell our story and that we do have the workrooms and that we can make a custom rug for you and, you know. We are constantly, you know, UPS is here every day and samples go out every day that we send customers. And is there opportunity to expand on that? I mean, are there other people? I mean, if somebody called from Butte, Montana, would you sell them a rug? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's all the carpet ones and the carpet, you know, all the franchises and all the partnerships that you can buy into. We almost feel like we've got you know, a franchise of that we could <laughs> teach someone else how to, you know, if, if you want to be in the high-end business, this is how you could do it. Yeah. I think. Is that something I, you're I going to pursue? I think the franchise business. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Well, so. it, just, it would seem like, uh, if not that, just a source for, for fabricated rugs. I mean, it's, it seems to me, just from talking to retailers around the country, it's a hot property. Yeah, and it's... Like I said earlier, it's 
Dalton's has developed into that. You yeah. know, Cane Carpets is here in town. I can get their product. Stanton is in Calhoun, just a few exits up the road. Uh, Kuristan is within a mile of here. Uh, Godfrey Hearst, the largest wool company in the world, is distribution centers here in town. So, as I said earlier, it's just as easy to get a shawl or mohawk or bullion. Yeah. So, um, do you see that? I mean, it seems like you've been expanding here for the last several years. Might that be another direction you're expanding? Well, we, like most retailers, have tried to make it through the recession, but I, I honestly feel like the bad days are behind us. Last year, we had the best year we've ever had in 57 years of business, and this year, uh, we're way ahead of that. So, so I think the worst is behind us.